hold on to your horses, hold on to your gamer chairs. Turns out the Nintendo Switch 2 is very powerful. <laughs> What's up game boys and girls, Big T here back with another video and it looks like the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be a very capable little console, little hybrid that could. Um, there were rumors going into Gamescom that uh, Nintendo was going to be showing the Switch 2 behind closed doors only to certain developers and uh, those rumors persisted and now we have post Games, uh, Gamescom information that that actually did happen and Nintendo uh, did actually pull up <laughs> with the Switch 2 um, and for a little bit juicier information um, they were running the uh, the Matrix what was it called? The Matrix Awakens uh, Unreal Engine 5 demo on the Switch 2 uh, which, as you guys know, uh, was a demo uh, created, uh, obviously around the movie to promote it, but also to kind of show what Unreal Engine 5 games could do on the PS5 and the uh, and the uh, Xbox Series X and S, because it was also on the S as well. So that was uh, that's a very interesting thing. Um, that shows that the Switch 2 is pretty powerful. Um, they also kind of, um, again, this is from the rumors, the information from behind the scenes. Uh, this is all, they also let on that, uh, I believe it's DLSS capable. Um, so um, a lot of, I guess they were showing some current gen games running on it as well. Um, I think the biggest, again, rumor is that um, the upcoming Final Fantasy VII Retrograde, whatever it's called, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> uh, Seven uh, Remake Part Two um, was also running on it, suggesting that um, some people were suggesting that it could be a launch title on the Switch 2. Again, uh, I think that is a little bit less plausible, um, but I mean, I guess not really because you know, and all this stuff uh, is pretty plausible. One of the most compelling things about the Switch was that um, it was getting PC games, you know, and being able to do cross save with PC games was a pretty cool thing. I think a lot of PC gamers would like to, have, you know, take their devices on the go, take their Switches on the go and continue their games outside of their the house or even in the house because sometimes you, if you work from home you're working on your computer all day and you don't really want to you, you don't feel like getting you know go, doing some gaming on it right away even so you could feel like you're playing a game console and not a workstation um if you're playing the game on switch and maybe you'll just you know quote unquote switch back uh to that uh, game on your rig when you feel like you know sitting in that setup again so, and that was starting to happen. There's a lot of games on there, uh, especially a lot of indie games, but there are a lot of, you know, other games that were kind of associated with PC games or whatnot that popped up on um, the Switch. Um, and also console games, console games like um, Witcher 3, uh, which you can do cross saves with. So um, I said something like that would be cool. But this again was before something like the Steam Deck came out. And for me, kind of changed my uh, care about that kind of stuff when it came to the Switch. And I just kind of do my console. I kind of do the uh, cross-save thing just using my Steam Deck and, uh, you know, that way. Uh, playing my games on uh, Steam and being able to go on the go with the Steam Deck. It's really cool. So, um, that's, it. you know, that uh, mitigated some of the the uh, kind of mystery and the kind of uh, cool featureness of the Switch in that way. But if this Switch 2 is this powerful and it can do current gen games, obviously uh, some with some DLS uh, upscaling help, because um, I don't think it's, it's going to be as powerful as current gen consoles, but it could still run a lot of current gen console games. As you see, stuff like Jedi Survivor is getting um, a... I guess last gen port, you know, a PS4 and a Xbox One port, 
Um, so, you know, I think if, we, if the Switch 2 is as powerful as, let's say, a um, PS4 Pro or um, maybe even uh, Xbox, um, what is it? What is it? The Xbox One X, something like that. That would be enough. That'd be enough power to where you can play current gen games. Just think of all the games that the Switch didn't get that could get ports at this point. Yeah, so if we got a lot of you know PS4 games, Xbox One games that never came to the Switch because it was just not viable, um, and it could get a lot of current gen games as well. Uh, that'd be great. That would make something like this bad boy here, Steam Deck, uh, a little bit more obsolete. Um, because I'm all about getting my my physical copies, and obviously on the Steam Deck you can't get that. So if I could get a Switch 2 with um, uh, physical games um, that I can play you know, on the go with a lot of the games that are coming out or have come out recently, that would be a pretty good selling factor because, you know, I, I care about my physical. If I could just get the physical game and then cross save, uh, that'd be great. That would be awesome. So I think a lot of gamers, like PC gamers especially, would be cool with that. Although there's a lot of competition coming out on the handheld PC side as far as... Um, uh, you know, the Steam Deck, the RLG Ally, and uh, coming up, the Le Lenovo Legion Go. So, and I'm sure there's going to be more probably in the future. So, there's a lot, still a lot of competition, and maybe PC gamers will choose that anyway. But, you know, you can't play the, well, I guess you can play the Nintendo games that, on there, but legally, uh, new Nintendo games, um, you need the Nintendo hardware. So, that was, you know, maybe maybe a, a PC fan would choose a Switch 2 if uh, if it offered that. If you could cross save with the PC games, you know, that come out, and uh, you can go on the go when you're not home or you know wanting to deal with your gaming rig. So that'd be great. Um, I think it's possible. Now the biggest thing, I think the biggest hurdle, um, it's not really a hurdle, but it's a big thing, is the battery life. When you make a device that powerful, um, that battery life is going to struggle. So they're going to have to, you know, figure that out. Um, what are they going to do on that side? Uh, again, in the screen, is it going to be 720p? Is it going to be 1080p? Um, you don't really need more than that with a screen that size. I know the Lenovo Legion Go goes up to, I want to say, 2K. Um, um, but... You don't need that <laughs> for a handheld. That's just gonna destroy your battery even more. So they're gonna have to do a bigger capacity battery, which is gonna affect the weight and size, um, or they're gonna have to find some new technology that makes these batteries last longer in these powerful devices, these powerful handheld devices. So we'll see what happens with that. But that's, I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, and this information mostly is coming from, um, I saw a video on from Good Vibes Gaming uh, and they were sourcing uh, Eurogamer, I believe, was one source, and another one, I can't remember. Um, but a lot of people apparently are saying this, uh, different websites, uh, different YouTubers are saying, um, you know, basically they're confirming this stuff. Um, well, at least some of it. Uh, not so much the Final Fantasy VII thing. Um, and also, they talked about cartridges, and it will be backwards compatible, I believe. Um, that's quote unquote confirmed by these sources but again I don't know so I'm not gonna <laughs> say this is for sure uh, but this is all possible it's not like this is impossible uh, but the thing is with carts going forward you know how big are they gonna have to be because um, you got games coming out today like I think uh, 2k uh, NBA 2k 24 is 160 gigs or something obscene um, these guys need to learn to compress their freaking games. They don't have to be that big. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's the information I saw today. So just delivering it to you guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you think this is a cool thing? Or you, this is what you want? I think it'd be great because 
um, Nintendo Switch 2 will miss out on a lot less games. Um, and, you know, combine most of the third party, let's say 70% of third party with Nintendo games. That's a potent, <laughs> that's a potent mix. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you again for watching and listening. And I'll see you folks next time. Peace out.